Hello there YouTube universe. We're here today to talk about the mounting of slow motion switch machines like the one you see pictured here. If you've done any layout automation, you've probably used those for situations like this to control your turnouts. Well, if you've ever mounted them in an open area, like you see underneath the layout here, you realize it's not too hard to get those four holes for the screws in place. But what about if you're working in a tight environment like the one you see here? Oh yeah, that's not a problem. They give us this great paper template we can use. Not. Wah, 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 wah. My little boy made a tremendous little fail sound effect, so I just had to add that in there somewhere. So allow me to introduce you to our slow mount bracket. This is our bracket that we are now using to mount all of our slow motion switch machines. It has the ability to be kind of ambidextrous, then it can be mounted on the layout two different ways. It's got the original quarter inch post for the quarter inch hole, or if you decide to drill a bigger hole into your turnout, like a 3 8 inch hole, you can use this post. We offer four brass grommets for protection on the bracket that keeps it from wearing out. And those same four holes can again be used from the backside. This arrow is a track direction arrow, so if you know the direction you track on the bow of the layout, you know which way to lay it out. And there's our little gratuitous slow mount logo. Now let me show you how to use this bracket to easily drill the holes for your turnout switch machine. So let's say on your layout you know your track is going to be here. And you're getting ready to mount a turnout. So this is about where the turnout's going to live on our layout. We just need to use a pencil to mark the location on the layout where the turnout spring wire is going to be. After we've marked that location, we'll come back and we'll drill a quarter inch hole right here. So we'll take our drill, drill through, get our quarter inch hole in place. So now we're going to mount our bracket in that quarter inch hole using the quarter inch post, like you see here. And at this point you have a decision to make. Do you know if your switch machine is going to be on this side of the hole? For this side of the turnout. Or do we mount it 180 degrees under the layout for this side of the turnout? It all depends on your space availability under the, under the layout. For this example, we'll mount it the first way I showed. Put it in place in the quarter inch hole. Take your 3 30 seconds drill bit and drill your four holes for your screws. Once your screw holes are drilled, you will then just carefully remove the bracket from the layout, clean up your workspace, and you are good to mount your switch machine. We hope you found this video useful, and if you want to get your own switch machine bracket, Check out the link to our eBay site in the description below.